Hello everyone, welcome to Upgrad Grassroots. I'm Iwad Mohamed Khan and I've been working as a data scientist for the past many years. Today, we will be introducing one of the most talked about field in the technology industry, data science. And if you like this video, make sure to check out the Upgrad Grassroots playlist and subscribe to the channel. Now let's begin with a very simple question. What is data science? If you search for this question online, you will find a hundred different definitions by a hundred different people. Simply put, data science is using processes and systems to extract knowledge or insights from data. The data can be structured where the data is in a standardized format, for instance, in a CSV file or a table or in a database. Or the data can be unstructured like your text data, your videos data or your audio data. Let's break down this definition a little bit. Data science is an interdisciplinary field. It involves having the knowledge in the fields of statistics, mathematics, computer science, and in the domain that you work. The scientific methodology involves things like experimenting with machine learning algorithms to find the right models to solve your business problem, A-B testing to find the impact of a change, correlations between different kinds of variables, etc. The processes and systems part involves building data processing systems using knowledge from computer science or software engineering principles. Let us now move on to understanding how data science has been used in the real world. Let's imagine a scenario. Your friend is organizing a party and has invited you to her place. The first thing you want to do is shopping. You want to wear a shirt that a famous celebrity wore and you can't seem to find it anywhere. So what you do now is use the image search functionality of your favorite e-commerce store and you upload the picture of the celebrity wearing the shirt and boom, the store returns a shirt that looks very similar to the one that you wanted. That's an application of a data science system, a similarity search system at work behind the scenes. Now as you add that to your cart, you scroll down to see a section titled people who bought this also bought this. Now that's another data science system at play, a recommender system that helps you recommend. And this section gives you a nice tie, a pant to go along with the shirt. You buy everything and you're now ready for the party. The day for the party arrives, you open a cab hailing app and enter the location you want to go. You immediately get the shortest path in terms of distance, time, etc. from your place to the destination on the map. That is another data science system, a routing system at work. You reach the destination and your friend invites you to watch a movie together. You open your favorite streaming platform, say like Netflix or Amazon Prime, etc. And it gives you many different recommendations. That is yet another data-based recommender system working behind the scenes. Now I could go on and on, but you get the drift. Data science systems today are an integral part of the online world. In fact, they are used to model many offline phenomena as well. Predictive maintenance of machines in industries, monitoring real-time disease outbreaks, forecasting changes in the climate are some examples of specialized data science systems in the offline world. We've seen many of these changes in India as well. Many startups and big companies in India now see data as an asset. Some of the applications we discussed above have been implemented in many of the new age Indian tech and non-tech companies. Data science in India has been steadily growing over the past few years. In fact, we have the highest number of data scientists on Kaggle, a Google company, which is the world's largest data science community. Now let me talk about the different careers in data science. First things first. Data scientist is not the only job role under data science. Sure, it is the most popular job role out there. In fact, Harvard Business Review had titled it as the sexiest job of the 21st century. But that's not the only job role that you can try if you want to work with data. If we see data science as the umbrella term for all things data, then we have job roles like data analyst, data engineer, ML engineer, deep learning engineer, data visualization engineer, BI analyst, amongst many other roles. Now, all of these roles involve working with data and building systems that either produce or consume data and then process it. If you still want to be a data scientist and are wanting to enter the industry without a lot of experience, here's a cheat code. Try to find a BI analyst or a data analyst or even a data engineer role at first. 
as you work and build trust in your company, you can ask them to consider you for the data scientist position in the team. Okay, you may be wondering, that's great, but where do I start? I always ask people about their background before giving any suggestion. That's because data science is a vast field and people are coming to it from a variety of different backgrounds and many different skill sets. So please do evaluate yourself first and then take a look at some of the topics that you should get started with. For instance, programming skills. You should be comfortable programming in R or Python. Understanding variables, data types, functions, classes, and other basic programming concepts is very important. Next, probability, statistics, and linear algebra. So these are vast topics in themselves. I think you should aim to start off with having a school level knowledge in each of these topics, and then you can go deeper from there. Moving on. Machine learning, having an intuitive understanding of each of the algorithms will help you work with the right algorithm for your data sets. Domain expertise, this is knowledge related to the domain that you're working in. Talk to your colleagues, business analysts, business managers, and other people responsible for running the business to learn from them. To get a kickstart on all these topics, do check out the playlists that are linked in the description. Well, that's all for today. I hope you found this video informative and useful. If you did, then don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel.